My name is Jo Sullivan and I'm here to talk to you about the four types of dispute resolution processes. So arbitration is where um, a couple um, would bind themselves by signing a form called an AB1 uh, and that form um, legally binds them to an award given by an arbitrator. An award is similar to a judgment um, that a judge might give. Uh, most people are familiar with arbitration in this country because it's used um, by uh, people have heard of um, ACAS and ACAS um, sort out differences between the unions, for example, and employers. Someone might use arbitration um, at various points, perhaps in the dispute resolution process. So it's not uncommon for uh, people to be in the mediation process and find that although mediation has helped them with all their issues but one, and for example, they might decide to go to an arbitrator to sort out a single or a discrete issue. So for example, they can't agree on a pension share or they really can't agree on spousal maintenance, for example. That's perfect for arbitration. People might also use uh, arbitration um, during the collaborative process. Again, the collaborative process keeps people out of court and essentially you're sitting around a table sorting things out. But with the best will, sometimes some things can't be sorted out that way. Um, and the couple may say, actually, let's just stop having meetings around this. Let's get an arbitrator to make a decision and we'll, bu we'll be bound by it because they'll know it's legally enforceable. They can still use the same solicitors to help them prepare their case. Or well, they may opt out at that point and ask the arbitrator to help them as individuals, um, much as a judge might do. Um, the pros of arbitration are simply these. One, it's very likely to be much, much quicker than the court process. You can identify your own arbitrator. You can never decide which judge you're going to have. So you can choose an arbitrator based on their experience, um, and whether you like them or not, actually. Um, the arbitrator, you'll have a pretty informal relationship with the arbitrator. So, for example, um, the arbitrator will email you directly, will phone you directly, and will talk to you um, in a much more informal way. Um, so, depending on the arbitrator's diary, you're likely to have very quick hearings that suit your schedule rather than the judge's schedule or the court schedule. The other great advantage of arbitration, as with any dispute resolution, is confidentiality. Your case will be completely out of the press. Um, that's very important for some clients. They can approach the uh, arbitrator directly, um, and there is a website to look at, which, whose name escapes me, but if you look up family arbitration in, in England and Wales, you'll find it. Um, they can take a recommendation from a solicitor who, like me, specialises in this area, and they can work with their solicitor um, or work on their own with the arbitrator. So it's not at all unusual for a couple to go directly to an arbitrator um, and ask for their help.